Former Sun Devil great J.D. Hill helped ASU to an undefeated season back in 1970, a feat the program has only accomplished once since then. Hill not only experienced the highs of football, he experienced the lows at an unimaginable level. And because of one man's willingness to drive him to a recovery center nearly 20 years ago, he now has a powerful testimony. That testimony part of our latest 12 for 12, J.D. Hill. Got this name, and you, you've got all these accolades, and the, the, the attaboys, the pats on the back, and uh, you don't realize that it, it's a setup. I was a pretty good athlete, and so athletics for me, uh, growing up, was a, a way to hide my pain. I didn't care what sport it was. In my mind, I was going to be a great athlete. J.D. Hill was a three-sport letterman, but it was football at Arizona State where he shined the most, helping the Sun Devils to an undefeated season in 1970 and a win over North Carolina in the Peach Bowl. Shortly after, the wide receiver was drafted fourth overall by the Buffalo Bills. And that in itself was amazing, you know, to be uh, considered that great of an athlete where uh, uh, they would take me in the first round. He had accomplished exactly what he set out to do. Hill becoming a Pro Bowl receiver who spent seven years in the league. But it was after football when his life took a turn for the worst. I, I fell into some real deep problems. Um, I wasn't prepared to leave the league and I wanted everybody to still know my name and ended up on drugs and I uh, ended up losing everything I had. I mean everything except my life. Uh, I remember uh, one time I was in New York and my family, I, I lived in the third floor in the corner of a building, YMCA, and they would blow the horn and they would leave food downstairs. And I would come walk three floors down and get the food and I would watch my children faces against the window crying because dad, they wanted dad. And oh man, it was, yeah, 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 it was tough. And most of us are here because of decisions. The decisions that we've made is the reason that we're here. Darkness had no hold on you no more, huh? Because darkness was pulling us, right? Darkness was keeping us in sin. Darkness was keeping us in drugs. Darkness was keeping us in alcoholism and robbing and stealing and living a life that we didn't want to live. My true story is I was walking and I began to say, Lord, if you don't get me out of here, I'm not going to make it. It was the selfless act of a stranger, a Phoenix businessman named John Libby, that would once again change his life. John Libby decided to drive me to L.A. from Phoenix and um, gave me a ride to the L.A. Dream Center. Uh, 17, 18 years ago, 2002, and uh, I haven't been back. I, I was being obedient. I knew I was supposed to take him out to the Dream Center actually stayed a couple extra days and watched to make sure he stayed there and uh, what's been amazing ever since is not so much that experience but what's happened since then. My life has totally changed um, and that's why I do the things that I do today. Um, if I could keep any young man, young lady, from going down the path that I went down, I'm going to do it. Uh, and that's my life today is uh, encouraging people to not to get involved. How do you want to be remembered? How are people going to remember you? And so people might remember me for my great athletic accomplishments, but also they're going to remember the struggles that I went through and how I overcame. I do want to be remembered for my overcoming. <laughs> Hill is now in full-time ministry. He teaches the men's Bible study you saw at the Dream Center located in Phoenix. He mentors athletes over at Arizona State, and he has his own ministry called Catch the Vision. But he wanted to make sure he conveyed this, that he is not a hero. He said he hurt a lot of people during his battle with drug addiction, friends, family, people who believed in him. And it's taken a lot of time to heal those wounds as well as rebuild those relationships.